This is Dalton from Coyote Classics, and today we're going to be doing a walk-around video on this 1973 Plymouth Satellite. Um, this car at some point in its life um, has been turned into somewhat of a, a Roadrunner tribute um, with the Coyote insignia on the, the fenders. Um, but under the hood, this car still sports its original 318. Uh, a lot of options, power steering, power brakes, and factory air. And as you can tell by just the appearance under the hood, um, this is a, a low mileage, like 60,000 original mile car. I still, still see some original paint um, in the door jams and, and under the hood. I love that scooped hood. Front bumper looks good. Looks like it could be the original. You just see some uh, minor scuffs and just some minor wear on that, showing its age. A grill's in good shape. Headlight bezels look good. It's got really good body lines, this car does. Um, and that kind of shows that, that low miles. Um, it actually came out of a, a guy who had a, a low mileage Mopar collection, that little scamp. Actually, all three of these Mopars right here came from the same collection. I think the, the repaint on this is older, so as we go around it, You'll notice it's got some little chips and nicks, um, things like that. But that, that's why I'd classify this as just a nice driver, cruise night car, good stance, good look to it, but uh, not, a, not a perfect show car. Door lines up nice. Don't see any bubbles or blisters in the bottom side of the door. I like the Kreger SS wheels on it too. It really makes this thing pop, give it a good look. Probably the biggest imperfection in the car is we do have some um, paint cracking right here, maybe a little bubble. But other than that, just some minor chipping. Love that coyote stripe too. Rear bumper very similar to the front. Looks original, does have some minor wear and pitting on that. Tail light bezels look good. Trunk lines up very nice. Good color too. Um, it's kind of a subtle, classy looking car. Looks like they did put some um, six by nine kickers in the back package tray. Back glass is clear. Do a little chip there on the, the roof. And the other side, we've seen some, some paint cracks. This side, I don't see any of that. Back behind the rear wheel is in excellent shape. Don't see any bubbles or blisters. Just see some, maybe some, a uh, few rock chips there. Up over the wheel well, a couple more little chips. Other than that, it's a car you can be very proud of. Original door buzzer works. I'm gonna pull that key. Sometimes that's kind of annoying. Um, but from what I was told by the previous owner and what I can um, see here, it looks to be original interior. Um, also looks like, though it could be original paint in the jams. You can just notice some minor wear and, and uh, looks a little older than the other repaint on the exterior of the car. Corner of the door is rust free. Bottom side of the door is nice. Only problem with doing these videos inside is Murphy wants to steal the show, I guess. Dash is beautiful on it. Dash pad's in nice shape. So you can see some just minor wear in the original seat covers there. Nothing major, but just kind of shows you that original 60,000 miles. Dome light works, headliner's nice and tight. Doors open and close really well, also. Passenger side, same thing as driver's side. Nice solid doors. Door panels look original. This 
So you can see a dash is in beautiful, beautiful condition. Back seat's nice. You got seat belts for uh, three back there. You got seat belts up front. I also like how they installed this nice little um, cup holder console deal. Makes it nice if you're going on a road trip. The weather outside's not, uh, not great today, but luckily Chad and Dave did a, a drive part of this video uh, a couple days ago. So we'll cut to that and you can see how this thing goes down the road. Here we go. All right, so this is a super clean 1973 um, satellite Roadrunner clone. The dash is just absolutely gorgeous in it. It Six, is. Yeah, 62,609 miles. Um, dash pad, the wood grain. I mean, you can definitely tell it's the original interior. I mean, there's no doubt about it from dash pad all the way down to the headliner, everything. It's just swoop, super clean. Dome light works on it. It is an air conditioning car. Nice. Looks like your heat and air works. Uh, Pioneer CD player. Three speed wipers, or two speed wipers, it looks like, and they're excellent. We have the turn signals out on the hood. Both sides work perfectly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? It's like a time warp car here. It's nice. I mean, <laughs> if you get a 62,000 mile car, I mean, you can definitely tell it's-, it's Those are the best ridiculous. ones. Yeah, they really do. They just drive so nice. Didn't Daisy Duke have a satellite? I don't Duke's know, I just hazard. remember seeing her. I didn't- You didn't pay attention <laughs> to what she was driving, did No, just their car and then, and then her. <laughs> She had a satellite, uh, I'm not sure if it was a 70, uh, one, two, or three, maybe a four, but. Yeah, brakes are perfect on it. It's got disc brakes, power steering, uh, power brakes, and uh, factory air conditioning. So alignment's really nice. You know, don't let the little 318 fool you. I mean, this thing runs hard. I don't know if you noticed uh, when we just drove by there. I mean, it yeah. gets down and it goes. I did. 50 miles an hour, 55, 60. Shifts right up into third nicely. It's just this is the kind of car it is, man. 62,000 miles, no hands on the wheel. Kicks right down. That's great. It's comfortable too. I think it's something you could take to a car show hours away from home and not even care. Exactly. Or yeah. a power tour or something like that. Yeah. You know, you got cold air conditioning, beautiful comfort. Take six people with you, five people with you. Check out that interior. Yeah, it's got a remote beer, gas gauge, temp gauge, factory work, alternator gauge works. I like what they did here too. I mean, this just comes right out. It's a little console with cup holders. Yep. Velcroed in. Take it right out if you want. Really nice quality car. A guy can jump in and drive. So. Brakes are perfect. No pull left or right. 